If you wear hearing aids, you need to stop wasting your time. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about the number one reason your hearing aids are a waste of time and how to get that time back. So last week, I had a patient come into my clinic and the first thing that he told me was, his hearing aids were a huge waste of his time, and I was completely mortified. To be honest, I was actually a little bit more in shock, especially because this patient was doing better than ever when it came to his hearing. He could hear his TV better, his wife better, his soft-spoken daughter better, he could hear on the phone again, he could hear while he was in his car, and he could even hear in a noisy restaurant, which is something he has not been able to do in over 10 years. Yet here he is still telling me that his hearing aids are wasting his time. So I asked him what the issue was, and you wouldn't believe what he said. And I'll tell you what he said, here in just a second but before I do do me a huge favor click the like button it really helps out the channel and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on go ahead and do that as well it's greatly appreciated and a huge shout out to Phonak for sponsoring today's video but more on them in a little bit okay so back to the story so when I asked him what the problem was here's what he told me he told me that yeah he was hearing better than ever before but his hearing aids were a huge waste of his time because he had to constantly clean them otherwise they'd stop working after two days he just wanted his hearing aids to be hassle free he wanted to pop them in his ears in the morning, wear them all day, take them out at night, put them back in the charger, and do the exact same thing the next day and every single day after that. Instead, he was constantly dealing with earwax, plugging the openings of his rubber domes to the point where he'd have to always be cleaning them or he'd have to completely remove and replace the rubber dome entirely. On top of that, he was always having to change his wax traps, sometimes even multiple times per day. And if you're a hearing aid user, you know exactly how annoying that can be. There were even times where his hearing aids would stop working while he was at work, but he had completely run out of wax traps, so there was nothing that he could do to fix the problem. There was even one occasion where earwax had completely penetrated his wax trap and got into his receiver, which killed it completely. This forced him to drive into my clinic so my audiology assistant could change out his receiver wire for him. And considering that with traffic, he had to drive nearly an hour through the Phoenix Valley to get to my clinic, which just added to his frustration. At least his hearing aids were in warranty because otherwise it would have been a costly repair. So yeah, I completely understand why this individual thought his hearing aids were a huge waste of his time. I really couldn't blame him. But let me tell you, the only person who is happier to have a solution to this problem than he was was me. And that solution was the new EasyGuard Dome by Phonak, today's video sponsor. The genius of the new EasyGuard Dome is that there is no way for earwax to get through the dome. You see, traditional hearing aid domes have an opening in the tip of the dome so sound can exit the receiver of the hearing aid and enter the ear canal to vibrate the eardrum. Of course, this allows the earwax to get into that opening and plug up the wax trap of the receiver. And for a lot of people, just like my patient, they would end up wasting a ton of time having to constantly change these wax traps to keep their hearing aids functioning properly. Instead, the EasyGuard uses sound transmitting membranes that allow sound to pass through but is impermeable to wax and moisture. The grooves that extend from the tip of the dome shed earwax away from the membranes and can be easily cleaned using a dry cleaning cloth. Now I know you're probably thinking exactly what I was thinking when Phonak sent me these new domes with no openings in them, which is there's no way that they work as well as a regular dome that has an opening for sound to travel through but I have data. According to Phonak, the EasyGuard dome nearly matches a standard Venter dome in 2cc coupler testing. But even better, I did my own testing that showed that there is almost no difference in sound transmission between the EasyGuard dome and the standard Vented dome. It appears as though these new domes from Phonak have solved one of the major problems that have plagued hearing aid users ever since domes were created. Not only does it prevent the necessity of always changing your domes and wax traps, but it has other benefits as well. Of course, if you have difficulty changing your own domes and wax traps if you have poor finger dexterity or you have bad vision, you no longer have to really worry about that. And something that individuals with draining ears could never do is wear receiver and canal hearing aids because the moisture leaking out of their ears would always damage the receivers of the receiver and canal devices. But because that moisture can no longer get through the dome, a receiver and canal hearing aid is now an option for these individuals. Not to mention these new domes will probably save you money because you no longer have to be purchasing extra domes and wax traps all the time nor do you have to purchase new receiver wires if you're out of warranty. Best of all, it saves you the time and hassle of always having to worry about earwax causing issues with your hearing aids. Currently, the EasyGuard domes are available in the vented style from Phonak in the small, medium, and large sizes. But other styles are expected to be released at some point in the future. Now, you're probably wondering what my patient thought when he first saw this new dome. And if you thought he was skeptical, 
you would be absolutely correct. Heck, to be honest with you, I even was skeptical that it would work. But guess how many times he had to change his wax traps over the last three weeks? If you guessed zero, you'd be correct. Which means that the stock of the company that manufactures these wax traps just went down. Of course, this patient still needs to get his ears cleaned out regularly because if there was an Olympic sport of earwax production, he would be a gold medalist. Now I can spend more time with him doing things that actually matter, like programming his hearing aids better, or testing out different wireless accessories, or reviewing his auditory training progress. Like I've said before in other videos, this tiny little piece of rubber called a dome can totally determine whether or not your hearing aids perform great, or whether or not your hearing aids are a huge waste of time. But I want to hear from you. Does cleaning your hearing aids feel like a full-time job? Let me know down in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video.